Hi there, Adam here. This month's XDA Developers TV is brought to you by the Samsung Smart App Challenge 2012. Enter for your chance to win your part of over $4 million in cash prizes by clicking the banner at the top of xdadevelopers.com or by visiting developer.samsung.com. Today on XDA Developers TV, we're having a content. Sorry. Get a little carried away sometimes. Now here on XDA Developers, we develop things. Hardware, software, you name it. So I was going about my business and I ordered a development board. Well, I clicked the button twice and I ordered two. So here, we're going to give away one. Now about right now, you should be thinking, well, what kind of a board is this? And if you're thinking I'm bored, then get the heck out of here. This is an STM32 F0 Discovery board. This board has an ARM Cortex M0 processor, which is similar to most of our phones that we have. Uh, the Cortex A9 processor is pretty much standard across the board right now. This is an M0, a scaled back version of that. This board handles three or five volt power. It comes with four LEDs, two push buttons, extension header, and on the back of the board, it even comes with some proto boards so that you can make your own projects. Now if you've been following my development tutorial, you'll know that Arduino is a pretty powerful platform. Well this has been called the Arduino on steroids. It handles everything the Arduino can do, in a different language of course, but it handles everything the Arduino can do, and then some. Most interesting to me is the 3 megabit per second serial connection. The serial port on your computer can't even go one tenth of that speed. The best part about this board is that it's fully programmable via USB connection to your computer on Windows, Linux, and Mac. And there's proprietary software out there, but there's also an interesting open source software, uh, IDE, out there. So you gotta check that out too. Alright, so now you may be wondering about the rules of the contest. Well, um, after talking about this thing for a while, I decided I'm going to keep it. No, just kidding. The rules of the contest are as follows. Post up in this thread. Right here. This thread. You need to post up your project. What you plan to do with the device. And remember that pictures and videos help out greatly. The winner will be decided by your peers. The winner is the person who gets the most thanks. That's right, that little thanks button, it's worth something. It's worth the development board. Now don't go trying to sign up for multiple accounts now. XDA has AIDS. That's right, AIDS. No, 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 not that kind of AIDS. Automatic Intrusion Detection System. AIDS. Reports are generated every night and the senior moderators get copies of those. So if anything's out of the ordinary, they know right away. So if you try to sign up for multiple accounts, that triggers it and you're going to end up being disqualified from the competition. Now, on to some of the other questions. Can I use social media services like Twitter, Facebook, or Google Plus to spread the word and get people to join? Yes. Can I edit my entry after I've already submitted? Yes. Can I submit multiple entries? No. Can I do it from my phone while I'm on the john? Yeah, but you probably want to wash your hands first. My idea is super long. Can I use two posts? No. Can I put a link to my post in my signature? Yes. Is your mom available on Saturday because I want my money back? Aw, oh, come on, who wrote these? That's messed up. Now make sure you get your entries in quick. This contest only goes on for one week and the early bird gets the worm. I look forward to seeing all of your entries and don't go just posting some BS just to post. We can spot that kind of stuff from a mile away. If someone says something like, uh, I'm gonna make a giant robotic Obama, well, uh, well, that's not a good example because you actually can. If someone says, I'm going to turn the Empire State Building into a giant tic-tac-toe board, well, that's not a good example either. If someone says, oh, I'm going to use this to replace the ECU inside of my car. Look, man, the point is, we know what's right and what's not. I'd like to thank you all for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel, and you can add me to your circles on Google+. Visit plus.adamoutler.com. Until next time, hack on.